Now to a school district fighting messages of hate. Students have been disciplined in two Plymouth Canton incidents. Then came another one a week after racism sparked a walkout. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is in Plymouth tonight with changes made in the days since. Well, on Friday, the school revealed that three racist posters had been hung up in school. Another racist incident in recent weeks. This comes as students and parents have been meeting with administrators to make important changes. It has happened over and over and over. Hundreds of students spilling into the parking lot of Plymouth Canton Educational Park, walking out of class on April 15th, expressing outrage over a video shared among students that showed another student threaten black people using violent and racist language. The biggest part of the walkout is to create some sort of noise so that people hear you, and it does seem that that works. Andy Gusway is vice president of the Black Student Union and says in the days that have followed, the group has met with administrators and staff to make changes within the school. We've been making a lot of hopefully new changes for the best at, at PSEP. I was so horrified and angry. As parents of black students at the school, Jessica Dorado and Latanya Milben say there's still much work to be done. They attended a community meeting last week and Jessica started an online petition demanding quick action from the district. We are hoping that not just to bring attention, but to also make sure that what is our next plan of action? How can we make a change? The Black Student Union says changes have already been happening, including a new online reporting system for acts of hate with posters like this featuring a QR code going up around school in the coming days. But students and parents say there's still work to do to make sure all schools are free from hate. The hope is that it'll be an opportunity for us to have a conversation and open that, open that um, can of worms. I think it's really important we act on this now, show the students that we're here to support them and, and engage everybody to help. Well, the school district says the students involved in the most recent incident have been identified and are being dealt with. Some parents will be meeting with the NAACP on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the district is holding a meeting with parents in May. In Plymouth, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.